so we got some Walking Dead now. Uh, I'm gonna try to do the first episode, and if it's any good, I'll move on to the second. So, let's get started on that. Standard minimal. No, she's standard. Good things, so uh, let's get this done. Telltale games. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Does it really matter? Nah, not much. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Every time? Every time. I followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. You've got an opinion then? Wouldn't say that. I go in for that innocent till proven guilty thing. Even considering who they say you killed. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? Ooh. You wanna know how I see it? Sure. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. <sighs> Any of that seem important to you? All of it, but that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. Is this the outbreak starting or not? Well, it must be actually, so... Well, I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella. Big, soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're all sitting. All officers are available for incoming to one second. Oh, thanks. He's then before me. long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. This one a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. What's this out? other <laughs>
thirsty. Ah! Fuck! My leg! Don't worry, it's just drawn on. Did he have his gun out? Boom. 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 Very good, like, car I window need to car. drag myself out that window. I need to drag Boom. myself out that window. The officer's shotgun is over there. Why would he have needed that? Why would he have needed that? What do you think? Pickett? Why would he have needed that? Uh, there we go. Just figured I had that. Looks empty. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Logo on here. Officer? God damn. God damn. How do you... Oh, there we go. Who's that? Like... <laughs> no? We're apparently in the, in the middle here or something. Oh, that's just. Bloody. <gasps> Oh, wait, he doesn't know that there's any zombies, so why is he like, Rrr. makes no sense. Metal loop chain again. Oh, Officer. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> what in the hell? Get away from me! Shit! Where are you? Don't make me do this! Ah! 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 
Hello? Anybody? Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Shoot. Okay. Ah! Hello? Be not bad. I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. That beep. Beep, beep, beep. What do you think it is? It's obviously a phone. <laughs> Let's open everything. Hmm. Uh, uh. There are three new messages. That's a Savannah area code. But that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. Boom. near the hotel so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out anyway he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight so we're staying an extra day thanks so much for looking after Clementine and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break message 2 left at 11:19 p.m. oh my god finally I don't know if you tried to reach us all, all the calls are getting Sorry, dropped and they're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Oh, Message three, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Hello? You need to be quiet. We will be quiet. I'm not a monster. 
Good. That's when you started talking. <sighs> uh, Where are your parents? Didn't realize not they took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Where are you? I'm outside in my tree house. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Smart. Can you see me? Hello. I can see you through the window. Hello. <laughs> Did you kill it? Oh, uh. Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Uh, I think so too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. Ooh. I think that might be a little while. You know? Oh. Look. I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We need to get out of this neighborhood. It's not safe. We're less likely to be seen if we move at night. My parents might come home. Nope. We won't go far. <laughs> we'll try to find shelter and come back here with others. That sounds good. But we can hide in my treehouse until then. It'll be a tough climb with this leg, but that's a good idea. Let's go. So. Stay close to me. Pretty tough time. Oh, where are we going? Now let's stay quiet. We'll head out to the front yard and follow the road out of the neighborhood. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It'll be okay. Stay near me, and we'll move as fast as we can. I haven't watched any gameplay for this, so... I'm actually kind of excited. I'm a huge Walking Dead fan too, so... Oh, come here. No? Fine. Get open. Walk. Oh, I'm getting the leg fixed soon. I found the bastard! Jesus. Are we going to die? That's. No, I'm sure we're fine. Damn. Stay down! Georgia State Patrol! Dude, he won't listen to that! We're friendly! There's a little girl here! Shit, you're not one of those things. Neither of us are. Oh, damn, you've got a little girl. Oh, We're sorry about that. Well, Andre's sorry about that. It's Officer Mitchell. My name's Sean. Sean Green. This is Andre. Officer Mitchell. Did you see any of those things? One of them just got our buddy Chet. Any of the characters show up from the series? 
Olympics. I saw a lot in the forest, but that was a while ago. Yeah, one we're looking for is still in the neighborhood. Oh shit, you hurt your leg pretty bad. Look, help us find the thing that got our buddy, and we'll take you and your daughter down to my dad's farm to safety. He should be able to fix your leg up too. I'm not a dad. I'm... A neighbor. Yep. Her parents are Friendly out of neighbor. town. Whoever you are, let's get a move on. We just were... Oh shit! It's Chad! Let's go! Get to my car! Go! Say hi to your dad. Yeah. I'm sorry, Sean. Chet was a good dude. One of the best. Take care of you two. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I ran into Andre outside of Atlanta, and, uh, Chet, he got killed. No. Yeah. You're kidding. Those things got him. Dad, I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry, Sean. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He was her neighbor. Honey, do you know this man? Please, God, say yes. Yes. There we go. Okay, Sorry. then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. weird thing like it's literally just started so these people are like let's have a look to get affected by the virus yeah so, this is swollen to hell zombies could be worse that's what it sounds like seems like things got awful bad in the cities what did you say your name was it's lee nice to meet you lee i'm herschel green it is herschel How'd this happen? Awesome. Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed? Before the car accident. I was getting out of Atlanta. Yeah. The well, news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Like Who are you with? Stuff. The girl. Yeah. Exciting for me. I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got, got, got another job. displaced family of three sleeping in the boys. barn. But you and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. I feel Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad, so I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. Well, what happened to your friend? Maybe that's not a bad idea. Oh, there it is. I don't like the fact that I'm having to sleep in it. It smells like... Poop. Shit. <gasps> I'm sorry, shouldn't talk like that. That was a swear. 
a dollar in the jar. I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. No blankets. Made of steel. I love you, baby. Hey, get up. Mm. Oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Okay, stop the Babe, please. Sign. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. <gasps> we better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! <laughs> but he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word oh, is, you were on your way to Macon. My family's kids. from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. Build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. Polly is really dumb. I can, sit on the I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. You have such pretty hair. It gets lots of tangles. So I'll leave it here and I'll start next episode off from here. So, yeah. See you later.